In this tutorial you will learn how to create realistic snow shader in V-Ray using Substance Store Map Collection. I use V-Ray Blend Material, V-Ray Normals, V-Ray Tree Planner and some more maps like Composite Map, Color Correction Map, Mix and Noise Map. So let's dive in! Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. So great to have you here and hope you have a smile on your face while watching this video. Here I made a scene to start making my shader. You will see a step by step of this process. I assign it to my model so from now on it will be applied automatically. I change the image sampler engine to progressive to see the changes on the fly. Here you see the list of the map I'm gonna use in this video. I have a 4K and 8K maps. You can get access to the maps by the link I put in the description tab. AO is the ambient occlusion, it contains distant triggered shadows which helps to make the color map look more realistic in your final render. I add a composite map to the diffuse map to mix these two maps so the dark values will be added to the main color map. As far as I have two maps for the reflection, I open a mix map and assign both high and mid reflection map and use a color map to specify the mix amount. I assign it to the glossiness too. Let's assign the roughness. This map tells the engine how the blurry the gloss has to be. And now I assign the bump. This map contains very small irregularities that lead to macro shadows on the surface.
the greater number will make the final render pixelated. For the displays, I open a mix map again to mix the normal maps with depth map. Now it's time to take the V-Ray map to a V-Ray blend material map to add some more shader details like footprints as a code material. Change the blend amount color to white to let the engine show this code map completely on the base material but just for now. I add a new color map to the diffuse to show the footprints on the snow. This time I use the percentage amount to make a mixture.
Now I add a noise map to control how the code material shows on the main snow material. You can also design a map in Photoshop and assign it here as a bitmap to create a specific effect in your project. Ok, let's take the noise map to the color correction map to adjust it better. White areas let the footprint material to be shown and black area lets the snow shader to be shown. Here you see the snow shader is mixed with the footstep shader. You can change the way they mix based on your project. Here is the challenge of using the normal map and the depth map I use in this place. As soon as you take a render, you will see your model is exploded due to the these two maps amount. Here I add a UVW map for the rest of the maps I use and then take each map to the V-Ray 3 planner map to control the normal map and the depth map I use in this place. I take all of them to the tree planner map, but you only need to take the displace map to tree planner. I do the same for this code material too. So now all the maps I use in this shader is corrected. If you think it's too much, you can reduce the displace amount.
Here you see the mixture of these two shaders. Let me copy the code material and assign it to another shader, cause I need to assign the footprint to the ground. Don't forget to control the displace amount to look realistic. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified about the next video. See you soon. Have fun.